Hey, 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 Captain Chris Johnson here. Uh, I'm late. You know why? It's not my fault. I think I'm going to start going live at 1130 because Marty's got a lot of good things to say. And I have a lot of things that I have to do and waiting <laughs> doesn't always help me out. But I'm, I apologize. I'm glad you guys all hung on here. Uh, as you seen my heading yesterday, what I was putting out, I want to talk a little bit about the truth. But let me first tell you, Marty just gave us an update that people that were not on Marty's live, that the uh, Thursday at three o'clock, Ash has called for a private Ash Mafara webinar, which is pretty good because that was, that's a big, he doesn't normally give us that much time to advertise him. So I'm liking that. That to me helps us out a lot. Those who were part of that advertising and getting it all out, it's already going out. So it's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, what's going on today? Absolutely, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there's a lot going on Mondays unless someone's holding a webinar in some other country I don't know about because normally we have the round table on Monday and we don't do that anymore. So let me first wish anyone out there who's got a birthday, happy birthday. I also want to say, uh, I'm also saying a lot of prayers for a lot of people out there, no matter who you are, where you are. I'm always praying for you. Uh, I thought about this over the weekend. Last Monday, I started doing something different in my lives. I started talking about AI, not just AI in general, but what it, where it's at around us, what it's going to do for us, and a lot of things. And a lot of people followed that uh, routine all week long where they did webinars. It was it was excellent. I actually really liked it. Uh, the O Tech, uh, the O Tech guys got in there and were were tearing it up, selling all kind of things about AI. So. In this process of this week-long thing, uh, I had a lot of calls, a lot of questions, and a lot of miss, a lot of things were said wrong on some of these webinars. And I want to clarify that because if you know me, I'm truthful, I'm honest, I want to always give you the correct information. And this is about AI. So everyone, I just want you to pay attention and listen. I will say hi at the end, but I want you to understand, all of you to understand this, how important it is. And this is the truth. Artificial intelligence, okay? Let me say it again. Artificial intelligence will take jobs away from the world. There's no stopping it, okay? And what I did, and I'm being truthful, and you just got to hear me out what I have to say, okay? I have all kind of notes that I've been doing all week. Let me tell you jobs that it will affect. And these are 15 of them, but I just want to go through real quick, real quick. Uh, accountants, advertising salespeople, benefits managers, delivery people like pizzas, Uber, and all that fun stuff. Data entry and book keep uh, uh, clerks, doctors, market research, proofreaders, receptionists, retail salespeople, security guards, soldiers. I like that one. I'm sorry. Taxi and bus drivers, telemarketers. Okay, now stay here. Here, this is important. This is where I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna throw you another list of 15 jobs that it's not gonna affect. Right, as of right now, chief executives, clergymen, pastors, priests, editors, event planners, graphic designers, human resource managers, lawyers, market managers, project managers, public relations, um, psychiatrists. Yeah, we all need one of those. Sales managers, scientists, software developers, and writers. Now, I just gave you 15 jobs that AI will affect. And I gave you 15 jobs that AI won't affect. And, and I'm telling you this because it's the truth. Art, artificial intelligence, okay, by 2030 is going to create 58 million jobs. 58 million jobs. It's also going to generate $15.7 trillion for the economy. That's by 2030. Artificial intelligence will take jobs, folks. There's no way of stopping it. And I want you to understand that. Now, let me throw in on passing. And this isn't, a, this isn't a doom and gloom. I want you to understand the truth. When someone comes up and says, oh, you're a founder, oh, you took my job. Let me clarify what I'm going to say here. Now, this is where I need you to pay attention. On passives, digital products that are AI-induced, 
100% automated, 100% digital, will not take jobs. Ask Mafara Design, our digital products, to help out businesses, people like you and me, and humanity. It will not take jobs, folks. What it'll do, it'll help businesses perform better, be more productive. I want to get that straight. Other industries, let's say Elon Musk had even quoted what's his biggest fear. His biggest fear is AI is going to be so powerful that it's going to take all the jobs. That will never happen. And let me tell you why. As sophisticated as AI is, one thing it doesn't have. It's called feelings. It's called emotions. And this is where I say I'm a proud founder. All right. I actually wrote something up that I thought was kind of catchy. On passive has the technology, on passive has the technological touch. The founders have the human touch. You understand what I'm saying? Where Unpassive has all these technologies, but Unpassive cannot put a Band-Aid on your child or your grandchild's knee when they skin it. Artificial intelligence cannot give you a hug when you need one. All right, that's the human touch. Artificial intelligence cannot be that person that gives you good or bad news because it's coming from a human. You need human touch. That's what I want you to understand about a passive. Where is the kindness and the love coming from a passive? It's from the founders. We're the ones that's going to keep the human touch going. You can't take that away. You cannot take that away from anybody. AI will take over many jobs. That is correct. All right. Let me give you some examples, man. I got all kind of crazy examples today. Let's use some examples. The horse and buggy. What took, what, what took over the horse and buggy? The car, the automobile, correct? But we still have horse and buggies, right? They're still there. The light bulb replaced the candle. Candle's got more sales now than it did back in the day. Okay? Cell phones. Replaced everything. I still got a landline phone. Most people do. Cell phones are like communication. It didn't replace anything. We love Google, but we still have encyclopedias. We still have dictionaries. All these things are still there. Technology's always come to play since the beginning of time or productivity. It, it sounds like, oh, it's going to take this away, this way, but it never really does. AI was designed to help people. Human people put in the the wisdom into AI. AI just machine thinking constantly makes it better and better and better. But artificial intelligence can never have the human factor. If you look at, you can actually Google search. There's many companies out there. I told you self-driving semi trucks, which will take away drivers. Okay. It's also going to create Many, many people's lives to be saved from people falling asleep. Told you drinking and driving, all the things. Every, everything that comes our way in our lives has changed. You know, we got we got a man, man on the moon. All right. A lot of money <laughs> put up there. We have a new launch that our, our CEO is crazy about. But he sent us some things to us this morning that it was. Not going to happen. It was delayed. Why? Because there was a crack in one of the tanks or something they caught. A good example is why we just don't watch when people want it. Because if they would have fired off that rocket when they wanted to, it probably would have exploded and killed people. It would have been another disaster, catastrophe. You understand why Ash Mafar does things in steps? Do you understand that? He doesn't want a catastrophe. He wants once on passive and that wick is lit. He wants it smooth sailing all the way to Mars, to Saturn, everywhere he's got to go. Remember that. But artificial intelligence can never replace human touch. Okay. Go out and hug your kid today. Hug your wife, hug your husband. Artificial intelligence can't do that. Can artificial take, take away bus drivers and taxis? Absolutely. It's coming. It's already happening. Do we have companies that are delivering pizza with a self-driving car? It's happening. Can't stop it. It can't stop it. We cannot stop technology. But remember this. I'm going to say it again. 
and passive, the digital products that we have will never take a job. It's only going to help people. Okay. Now, some of the things that Ashman Fire might have planned in the future might. I don't know. We have to wait and see. But I know it's all positive for us. And this is why I always said you might want to get in this because AI is the future. And I knew and know that jobs are going to be taken. Not take it, just run by computers. You know, that that's the honest God truth, guys. When you talk to me, I'm going to give you the truth. Some of you have said on your webinars, oh, AI is not going to take jobs. It's going to take jobs. So stop saying that. And passive is not going to take jobs. But artificial intelligence out there will take jobs. I come from an automation world through the auto world. Where I watched as I started in 1987, we had a little bit of robots. By the time I retired, we had lots of robots, less people. That's called automation. Now, if you know the history of being an auto worker, a lot of us get damaged wrists from welding or holding or shooting bolts and carpet. It's a lot. It was a lot. You know, it's stressful. Artificial intelligence is going to help. It might take away a lot of jobs, but it's also going to make people real healthy, too. And it's not going to be able to take everything away. You know, we have 3D housing. Someone still has to lay the foundation. Someone still has to put the roof on. It itself puts the, builds the house. Human factor is always going to play a role no matter what year it is. You know, maybe 100 years from now it might be different, but I'm, I'm going to be dead. So <laughs> most of us are going to be long gone. But you can't stop it. You know, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, however it was, Someone said, oh, you're going to be driving a car with gasoline and 80, 120 miles an hour. And they probably thought we were nuts. And they thought, oh, my God, what am I going to do with my horse and buggy? Hey, we got the flow be out there, right, to cut hair. Yet we still got barbers. John White can tell you that. People invent things to help things out, make it easier. But it doesn't necessarily mean every job is going to be taken. It doesn't necessarily mean those things are going to disappear. That's what I want you to think about. I try to give you a different way of thinking every time I come on alive. I don't want to tell you the same thing over because you already know it costs you $97. You already know about our digital products. You know about our data centers. You know all that. You want recaps? You go see Red Redfern and Marty DeGarmo. All right. Chris Johnson wants to give you different ways to think about it. And I also want to be honest and truthful with you. And passive is going to create, right now, as far as I can see, at 1,440,000 jobs. And that's going to keep growing. I, I urge people to check out unpassive.com. We now are putting two new websites a week, Monday and Thursday. That's going to continue to go to seven days a week. Never been done before. Okay? I don't think that's taking over every other, every, everyone's website. Do you? <laughs> the internet is always going to grow. It's it's never going to stop growing. Can you imagine with AI intelligence, everything, let's just say, let's put that one big box. And everything's connected to that box for, for artificial intelligence. It's going to have so much data that you literally can go in there, oh my God, I just, my car stopped running. Took up the make, model, boom. There's an answer for you. It's going to be a great thing. All right. And as far as many jobs... There's always going to be a human in a taxi cab because there are going to be people who say, oh, no, I don't trust that car driving by itself. All right. Think about that. We have the greatest company in the world that's going to help the world. It's not going to hurt the world. Ash Mafara designed something to help out everyone. And he gave anyone an opportunity that wanted to get into this. And even after we launch, he's still giving them the same opportunity. The naysayers, the people that think we're nuts. Oh, this guy just ain't going to happen. All of you are going to get in this. The people that say, oh, I'm, maybe I'm a taxi cab driver, I'm a bus driver. But you're also a founder. You're also a founder. Okay? Yeah, we've had monorails that drive by themselves for years. Go to Walt Disney World. Go to Detroit. It's called progress, guys. It's called progress. Gene Olivia, I'm, I'm glad you're on here. I know I had to get going because I didn't want to keep everyone here so late. 
So that's what I want you to think about. Okay. And passive is going to help out the world. AI will take jobs. There's, there's nothing stopping it. Why don't you Google it yourself? It's also going to create, like I said, 57 million jobs by 2030. Okay. But it will take jobs. And that was the most important thing I wanted you to know today. All right. Don't be afraid of things that are coming. Changes are good, but sometimes we we can't control change. And sometimes we don't like it, but sometimes it works out so much better. All right. Artificial intelligence is, is going to improve doctors. It's going to improve scientists. It's going to give them more data. It's going to outthink us to give us better ideas how to fix things and how to do things better. But it's going to take jobs, guys. I hate to say it. But if you're a founder, I don't think you really need to worry about that. Okay? This is why I'm telling people, you really might want to have a plan B. To me, for over four years, Ash Mafar has been talking. People have been talking like Red Redford from the beginning, Peter Shore. What do they say? Get in this. It's all done for you. Changes are coming. The earthquake is coming. The shake of the world. But with that, things are going to be forgotten or lost. And Passive will be the number one company in the world, and you're part of it. Now, can we stop other companies from doing artificial intelligence to create things that are going to take away jobs? No, guys. People have been taking away jobs since the beginning of the time. You know, the rock... The square rock went to the wheel. <laughs> that, that's it. Uh, diapers, okay? Cloth diapers. What took, what took over cloth diapers? The, the ones you just wrap up and throw away. But people still use cloth diapers. The other one's easier. You see, it, it's like everything that they did from the beginning till now made something easier. Horse and buggy, where it took three days to get from point A to point B. Now you can do it in a couple hours in a car. Made it better. All right. Well, then you had seatbelts, Adam. When I was a kid, we didn't have seatbelts in cars. Or we didn't wear them. Seatbelts have been improved. And then we came up and said, we need, we need more laws in seatbelts. We need people to wear seats. It's called technology, guys. It's called thinking. It's called bettering the world. And that's what artificial intelligence is. But again, I'll say it again. It's going to take your job. Is it going to take a roofer's job? I don't think so. Yeah, I've, I've seen, I posted last week, they now have an artificial intelligence lawnmower. Now, to those who don't like cutting grass, boom, that's you. Me, I love cutting my grass. I love weed whipping. I love watering it. You see, I have my own mind. Let's see, do I want to get that little lawnmower that goes all by itself and I just got to press a button? Or do I want to get out there and enjoy the weather and cut my grass? It's a choice, guys. It's a choice. When you get extremely successful, to me, sports cars, boats, man, it, it's so much nicer just to have a piece of property and go ride your horse. You know, you will change as you get older. And passive is going to change your life so much. And I really don't think you understand that yet. All right. But remember about that rocket that's about to blast off that was supposed to? It got a little crack in it. And the uh, ammonia tanks, I can't remember what it was. Probably would have killed everyone on board. They caught it. See, a passive's the same way. We're not going to kill nobody. But Ashma Fire wants to make sure there's no cracks, no splits, no broken wires. He wants it perfect. All right. But again, I'm going back to, back to the basics. You got into a passive for one thing. You knew nothing about artificial intelligence, most of you. Now you're starting to understand artificial intelligence and what it's about. You understand that it will take things away, but it'll also make things a lot better. You join the company because you wanted to earn a residual income online, which is very hard to do. What, what did the internet create? Internet created many people, dot com. Remember the dot com area? Many millionaires. And passive is going to constantly produce successful people. I won't say a number, but it's going to be the, the company that makes the most success in many, many people because it's a given company. Oh, bless. All right. 
I hope I gave you a different perspective. I want to say, oh, I have a lot of people on here. And uh, wow, someone just sent me a really nice message. This is the best information in Florida webinar, Jobs Prosper with AI, Chris. Thank you. And I want to talk to my buddy, Greg. Greg, you know how Greg is the loves electrical cars. All right. And I told Greg, I'm going to actually, when he sets up a presentation, I'm going to let him do an old blessed project on it. Because I, Greg believes in that so much. All right. That's what Greg wants. That's probably what the world needs. Or it'll be a cleaner world, believe it or not. But guess what? Even though there's, and Greg, they're making those cars. Even though you're going to have electrical cars, you're always going to have gas motors. Because people like speed, even though they're making electrical cars faster and faster, people still like the sound of rum, rum, I do. I'm a motor freak. Whether it's in a boat, a car, a truck, a go-kart, a mini bike, I love motors. That will never go away. Now, Greg, here's my challenge to you. We got electrical cars coming. They're already out there. Start studying these cars that run on water. They're there. We have the technology. All right. Safer, cleaner. We got a lot of water in this world. Problem is we don't have a lot of clean water for people to drink. Another thing on passive is going to take over. Is that a bad thing? Let's see. I can't drive my gas car, but I saved 50 million kids and they can all drink clean water. That sounds like a fair trade-off to me. All right. Fair trade-off. All right. Let me say some hi to some people. (laughs) I'm <laughs> getting all kind of text today. Uh, and guys, this is strictly not just my opinion. This is stuff that I've studied. Okay. Let me. Oh, what an outside right I wanted to say to you. Okay. Another example. Radio, eight tracks, cassettes, CDs, MP3 players. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Right. Radio. How many of you just listen to the radio? Now you listen to satellite radio now. There's always ways to improve things. It doesn't mean that it's going to take something away. I still like getting in my, my car, cranking on my AMF stereo, listen to the oldies, listen to the 80s. I love music. Okay? And passive is not going to take anyone's job. And passive is going to create jobs. Right? It's going to create a lot of jobs. It's going to create businesses. Right now, we have over a million brand new businesses that are basically franchised off on passive. And you are going to be the most successful people in the world. I'm not going to put a money price. You guys already know about it, what what the capability possibilities are. Just think about that. I want to give you a different way of thinking. I don't want you to think big house, big yacht. I want you just to think the easy things, paid the bills. Paid the car, paid the house note. Well, I can actually go fishing instead of working that extra 40 hours a week overtime. To me, that's a great way to think. All right. I was taught at a young age by my mother and father. If you want something, you'll work your ass off for it and you'll work hard at it. I agree with them to a point. All right. But a lot of people kill themselves for maybe that Harley Davidson or that big boat or that cottage, and they find out, they go out and they're working 80 hours a week uh, plus, they can't enjoy their cottage anymore because they got to pay for it. They can't enjoy their boat because they got to pay for it. You see, we buy things because we have this thing called credit. And then we realize that we buy these things, we can't even afford them because we got to go to work every single day to afford them. And then you get hurt, sick. It, 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 it's just all kind of things. Plan B and passive, guys. Okay? Last thing I'm going to say. I, I love watching TikTok. A lot of great inspirational things on TikTok. I want you to listen to what this guy said last night. It said, work harder on yourself than you do at your job. Let me say it again. Work harder on yourself than you do on your job or, or your job. If you work hard on your job, you can make a living. Let me say it again. If you work hard on your job, you can make a living. If you work harder on yourself, you can make a fortune. 
if you can work harder on yourself, you can make a fortune. In other words, believe in yourself. I believe 100% in what Ash Mafar is doing. I know without a doubt that this is going to be so awesome for every one of us. And we just have to be patient because there might be that crack. Okay. Believe in yourself. You, you took this leap of faith to get into a passive. All right. You understand this, that when a passive does launch to the world, the things that you've wanted to do, your dreams are going to happen because you're going to have the funds to do those. I will never tell you. I talk with Julie Wen about this all the time. I said, I've had something that I want to do since I was a young child. I'll never discuss it until I'm making it happen, until I know it. I know, I know through a passive that I'm going to make this dream come true and a lot more. We would not have this opportunity if it wasn't for Impassive. I want you to remember that. Most of us 30-year workers got a job. Some people still working. And the dreams that you really have are so far off and so expensive that we just really couldn't do it. We didn't take that chance or all kind of things, all kind of factors. But with Impassive, you guys are going to all be able to reach those dreams. Whether you wanted to build a fantasy island you know, or maybe 3,000 million acres with this beautiful house in the middle and you got some four wheelers and you like to hunt or just maybe that little cottage on a lake where you want to go fishing every morning or you want to go somewhere where the sun is shining all the time. All these things are going to happen. Notice I'm not putting money signs on these things. I'm telling you right now that I believe 100% that all your dreams are going to happen because of a passive. And I want you to keep thinking that. We can, we can run over negative things all day long. We have negative people in our lives all around us. Ignore them. Ignore them. You will definitely wear off on them. They will turn around. It's just it's harder for some people to see things. Remember that. Remember that. Oh, no. Marty's calling me. Marty DeGarmo, you are live. Marty? Yeah, well, I don't take 40 an hour like you. I'm almost done. <laughs> Tell everyone hello. How are we going to... How are we going to... Hello, hello. <laughs> how are we going to what? How are we going to conquer the world if we're going to fart around on a live all day? <laughs> Did you did you all hear that? He said, how are we going to conquer the world if I'm going to fart around on the live all day? My line's only been going, what, 28 minutes? It's over in two minutes. So let me finish with these guys, and I'll call you back. Yeah, because I got stuff we need to do. I know, I know. We got we got a plan for Thursday. I got you. All right. Tell everyone bye. Bye, everyone. <laughs> bye. Say it. <laughs> Say it. All right, he's gone. There you go. I got, as you can see, a, a leadership in a passive job is never done. I hope I gave you guys some good message today. I hope you talk about it in your webinars, guys. Be honest with people. And passive, I believe, is 100% honest, 100% transparency, where we talk a lot of things about crazy dreams and stuff like that, but I want you to know the truth. Always will tell you the truth because that's who I am. I am a proud founder. I'm also a proud human being. And I'm thankful every day I wake up breathing. And I'm thankful that I have friends all around the world. And I'm definitely thankful for Ashton Mafara. Because I'll say it again. I have 100% belief in the Mafara family, in the tech team, and in passive. Guys, I got to get going. I love every one of you. I, you know what? I'm going to let me. I didn't call anyone's names out. I hope you don't mind. Okay? But every one of you on here, I want to do something different. Because I know Marty's going to, I got to call him back. Listen to me. Engineer Mike, I see you. John Barilla, that's who I wanted to see. I was talking to John last night. He sent me a message. He said, go check out my own network, Chris. And I went there, and he's got every webinar posted. And I said, boring. John Barilla, you are a talented actor who you can sing. You can do skits. I want to see some funny excitement things. So what I did, you know, me and myself, Fred and Marty, we say go to our own network. I want, I'm going to pick out three people. And I want you to go make a post on, on your own network. And I want people to go see it. John Barilla had made a new song today, as far as I know. 
Go check it out. Make a comment and like. Let's see. Uh, Billy Hart. Now, Billy Hart just gave me some. Uh, number one, I'm very sorry, Billy, uh, about your wife. Uh, I don't know. He's just getting back to it. He's been in this since the beginning. If Billy Hart knows about his own network, because I know he's just getting into it, go make a message, Billy. Tell everyone how much you love him passive. Uh, Timmy Johnson, the guy who makes me crazy pictures and everyone else with Bill and John White, go to Tim's own network. Guys, I don't ever want to make this just about three or four of us. I want to start including you all. Okay. M. Kelly, I want you to go to your own networks today and make a post. I want you to start going through old network at least once a day. Start liking, loving people, making comments. We really have to, we are now pulling people in to old network. You just don't know it yet. It's all part of the plan. All right. Gina Levy, I know is always posting something on there. Go check her out. Bruce Gerstein. I make new posts every day, Bruce says. Why are you going checking out Bruce's website? I mean, his own network. What is his website? All right. I love every one of you. I want to thank you for being on here. I got to go. I'm, I want to say hi to everyone, but I'm running out of time and I don't want to keep you here. Okay. But everyone on here, you are very important. You are the most important people in the world to me right now because you're on here listening to my crazy thoughts. I think I got everything I wanted to say. And remember this, I want to say, all right, this is what I want you to write down. Two things on your own network. Our products will improve the efficiency and productivity of not just businesses, but also the creative individual, which is all of you. Write that down. I said it fast. And the other thing I want you to say, on passive, and this this goes to taking jobs. On passive has the technological touch. The founders have the human touch. You put on passive and the founders together, we hit every angle, guys. We're, us founders are the ones that's going to be giving the hugs. We're the ones that's going to be putting the band-aids on the knees, the kisses. AI can't do any of that stuff, but we can. So now, not only is AI helping us out, we're going to help AI out. To let them know, hey, we're giving you the information to learn, but we're still here and we count. Don't you ever forget that. So write those down. Just put in there, the founders have the human touch. I want to see how many people post it on your Facebooks. And everywhere. I want to hear it on webinars. All right. I got to go. I love every one of you. God bless you. Uh, uh, there's people on here. I apologize. I will call your name out next time. Get this message out. Tell the truth and watch this company grow beyond, beyond, and beyond and keep growing. And you're part of it. I love every one of you. I'll see you later.